Hey everybody, this is Peter with Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today I'm coming to you with an unboxing of another Free League publishing product. Today we're going to be taking a look at Alien the Role Playing Game, Heart of Darkness. This is their new cinematic scenario that they've recently released, and I can't wait to open up this box. If you know anything about Alien the Role Playing Game, you know that there's two ways of playing. You can do the cinematic scenarios or you can do a campaign mode. And a campaign is what a lot of role players know. Is it's the game that you're gonna be playing for months to years possibly with some of the same characters. You're gonna be leveling up. You're gonna go through an overarching story. Whereas the cinematic scenarios for Alien the Role Playing Game, uh, you're gonna be playing maybe one, two, or three sessions. They're gonna be shorter. Uh, and you're playing like you're in one of the Alien movies. So players are gonna come at it with characters that have specific goals, and those goals may change uh, through the acts of the scenario. So there's gonna be an act one, act two, act three, like in a movie, and uh, the game mother um, is gonna go ahead and be laying out those scenarios and handing out the objective cards to the players so they know what their driving goal is and these goals may clash with one another depending on who their character is if they have secrets who their buddies are in the scenarios and the cinematic scenarios is where i think alien the role-playing game shines i think it's a fun game no matter which way you play it but the cinematic scenario for me is like the bread and butter of the alien the role-playing game because again it's like you're in one of the movies and you have a very specific thing that's going to be happening you don't have to play for months on end to to see a culmination of this story it's going to come pretty quick and uh, so I'm looking forward to diving into this box, learning a little bit more about this new cinematic scenario. Uh, so today we're just going to take the box down to the table. We're going to open up, see what's inside. Uh, and then I'll be doing another video later where I have read through everything and I give you a little bit more detail about the cinematic scenario itself for this box. So again, we're going to be taking a look at Heart of Darkness for Alien the Role Playing Game, the new cinematic scenario from Free League Publishing. Let's take it down to the table and let's see what's inside. All right, so we're down to the table with Alien the Role Playing Game, Heart of Darkness by Andrew E.C. Gaska by Free League Publishing. We're gonna flip over the box, read the back, see what's inside. The company found a new life form and they want you to study it. Their offers uncharacteristically generous, you catalog this organism, determine how they can use it, and bring it back so they can slap their patent on it. Fairly routine stuff. In exchange, they'll hook you up with a cushy corporate department head position, secure you a book deal, and make sure the institute of your choice gives you tenure. Did I mention the money? There's a lot of it. Simple survey, sample, and analysis job. Seem too good to be true? Of course it is. Heart of Darkness is a complete cinematic scenario for the alien role-playing game written by sci-fi novelist Andrew E.C. Gaska. It is a standalone adventure, but also serves as a conclusion to the Draconis Strain saga begun in the cinematic scenario Chariot of, Chariot of the Gods and continued in Destroyer of Worlds. The scenario is designed for three to five players plus the game mother and, in a, and is a spiraling descent into soul-crushing madness. This boxed set contains the main Heart of Darkness scenario book, a huge double-sided map, 864 by 558 millimeter of the Erebus Plasma Trawling Space Station, seven pre-generated characters to choose from, custom cards for weapons, secret messages, and personal agendas, player maps, and handouts. Note, the Alien RPG Core rulebook or the Alien RPG starter set is required to play Heart of Darkness. So again, this is just recently released here in the end of 2022. We're gonna go ahead now and open it up so we can see what everything looks like. As usual, Free League Publishing does a fantastic job with their uh, sets. The boxes that they're contained in are nice, sturdy, heavy duty cardboard boxes. They're gonna stand the test of time and they're gonna last you a nice long time. 
we open it up and inside we have our games catalog which is going to be in every single one of your boxes that you get you can flip through it and see all the other wonderful games that free league publishing is putting out they have the one ring second edition if you want to play in middle earth they've got tales from the loop forbidden lands twilight 2000 simba room and they also have the simba room fifth edition ruins and vesson so many wonderful games that you can play so i would definitely recommend heading over to freeleaguepublishing.com check that out and now we have our little teeny packets so that everything stays nice and dry in the box we have the story card set here that they were discussing and it's also going to have the weapons cards in it and it's going to have the personal agendas in it and again those personal agendas are for the cinematic scenario so that each of the pre-generated characters can know what it is that they're trying to get up to while playing the game uh, those personal agendas are i think probably one of the cooler parts of the game and uh they lend themselves to a really cool um way to motivate the players so like we said here we've got story cards flip them over and they're going to give us some information about the scenario that we're playing uh after the story cards we have those personal agenda cards i'm not going to be showing any of those again for anybody who might be playing but these will pertain to each of the pre-generated characters and their agendas throughout the game and then we do have here four specific cards that are going to be uh weapons cards so you're gonna take or you know this one is actually not a weapon this one is one of the um vehicles but then we also have three weapons here which really cool art you flip them over to the back and they have information about each of the weapons and the vehicle so a lot of personal agenda cards because each pre-generated character should get at least one for each of the three acts so that means we should have about 21 personal agenda cards there and then also our story cards other than the cards we have the heart of darkness book so we'll go ahead and get that out of here real quick this is going to be the scenario that you're playing and uh, Free League never really skimps on the art. Their art is always fantastic. They reach out, they've got great artists who work with them and this is no different. I love this image because it looks like we have almost like a almost like a black hole sucking everything in but of course there's light here so it's not a completely black hole um but it's it's sucking everything into it we have the space station where i'm assuming the majority of the play is going to take place but then behind it we have our xenomorph we have our creature kind of like embedded into this black hole with its mouth wide open ready to uh to suck somebody in eat somebody up um very very gruesome when you can get a really good look at it and uh yeah so this is let's see here real quick 76 pages long it's got all the information the game mother needs in order to run this scenario and then we have our pre-generated characters here So it looks like we've got Lark and the uh, the pre-generated characters. We get a little information about the characters, their stat blocks, their talents. We flip it over and then we have where you can do all of your writing. Uh, with these, again, being pre-generated characters, normally what I try to do is get these um, laminated in some way. And then I can use just erasable markers on the lamination. That way I'm not ruining these or, you know, just make copies one or the other. That way I'm not getting... I'm not ruining the originals here and I can use them multiple times because I will definitely want to run this for multiple groups. We got Lark, Ajiri, Navari, Sajad, uh, Drabinkowski, and Hedenstrom, Hedenstrom, Lugar. I'm probably butchering all of the pronunciations for these names, but we have these seven pre-generated characters ready to play again with their stats and everything on them. We have some handouts. Now, this is nice. This is different. The handouts, these are these are a little bit more flimsy. You can hear that. These all of a sudden are a little bit more sturdy uh, kind of uh, cardstock feel to them. And these are the handouts uh, for the game. 
I don't know, like this one here, it's got a couple different box, so it's probably some kind of box text that shows up throughout the game. This one specifically states clerk's report, and we've got network exchange. So yeah, so these are well labeled. You're going to be able to know when you need to hand these out to the players. We have a nice fold out map here of the USCSS Cronus class DFTL lifeboat. Cherion? Cherion, maybe? Cherion? Not sure about the pronunciation of that either. Um, and then we have another one here, USCSS Cetorina? Cetorina? And again, more information about the ship itself. So we've got information about the deck levels on this one. Uh, this one, we have specifically information about some of the different rooms throughout the vehicle. And then this is the really big map. This is the one that I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing in one go. But you can see here the Erebos plasma trawling station. And the great thing with these is that if you were to uh, play this on a virtual tabletop, they uh, there's at least, I think, a couple. I think Foundry maybe. Um that has these on them. So if you're somebody who likes virtual tabletops, then all these images will come on there so that you can uh, lay it out for your players and move their miniatures around their little tags. And then the back side here has a much bigger image with the central hub in the middle and then a front view down here at the bottom of the full ship itself. So really big map here with lots of great imagery on it. There's map legends up at the top right so that you know where you're at on the map with the players. But that is a really massive layout of a map that you will be able to use to show the players around the ship. So that is everything that is inside this brand new cinematic scenario for the alien role-playing game, Heart of Darkness. Um, like it said on the back of the box, this is considered to be like the end of this trilogy of cinematic scenarios that they've been putting out, but you do not, it is not required that you have played those other scenarios in order to play this one and enjoy this one as well. But if you're interested in checking out those other scenarios, you can go online, go to freelypublishing.com and you can look into possibly purchasing those as well. They each come in these nice boxes um, that you can then break out and run that scenario for your players. Um, well, that's it, everybody. That's the unboxing. That's what you're going to get if you dive into Heart of Darkness. Uh, and again, I'll be doing another video soon after having read through the um, the scenario itself, give you my thoughts on the scenario, what I think about it, and uh, I'll be back with that here uh, soon. Everybody, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Give it a like and subscribe. Check out all the other great things that we're doing here on Tabletop Gaming Guild. Don't forget, head over to freelypublishing.com. Check out all their amazing games. And until we talk again, everybody, keep on playing games.